Hello everybody, welcome back to Work Right Planner. My name is Erica. Thank you for joining me today. Today we are going to close out our July business budget. You know, it is what it is. There's not a whole lot to tell here, but we're going to close it out anyway just to make sure that we are keeping accurate records and that we're in the practice of going back to revisit this. So, let's jump in here. We did not receive any income. So we'll just put zeros all down through here. This is the reality of starting something. You can't just put it up and the income comes, which is unfortunate. It would be nice if it worked that way. But so far, I've had a lot of people view my shop. I've had a lot of people favorite things in my shop. I have not made any sales yet, um, which is concerning. So if you have any advice for me, I am all ears. I am learning this. It's all new to me. Um, but there we have that. Um, I did cancel Book Bolt. So I'm going to mark through that and put a zero because I did it before they charged me. And my Instant Ink is still um, on the free trial. So we're going to mark through this. Canva did come out of my account. So this column is down to just $12.95. Now, over here, I had some transactions that I spent this month. Of course, it was my month with the extra paycheck in it, so I spent more than I would have because I really want to see this be successful. So um, we are just going to add up everything and put it over here so Etsy fees I don't see any other fees on here so we've got let's see I'm gonna skip this over here on our Etsy fees we budgeted twenty dollars I spent four dollars and forty cents break out our trusty calculator it on $20 minus $440 is $1560. So, assuming we had had income, we would have been to the good on that one. That would have been nice. Okay, so we have tallied that one. Um, probably the easier way to do this would be to break out highlighters and we'll just start at the top here are there any cutting supplies no okay so that's gonna be a zero designs and software we've got designs right here we have software right here and software right here. Okay. So those numbers are six dollars, ten dollars and thirty eight cents, and nineteen ninety nine. So that makes it thirty six thirty seven for designs and software and that means that we are over what we had anticipated by $26.37. Now I have asked for a refund of one of those um, but I haven't heard back from that yet so hopefully part of that goes away. Okay next is Equipment. So we have equipment and equipment. So now we'll add those together. We've got ninety six sixty nine and ninety three seventy five hundred and ninety forty four. So I learned something this month. 
and that is that your computer can only hold so much <laughs> before it gets completely bogged down and just stops working. So um, video files are very large and of course there are a lot of photos that go along with um, listings and all of that. So yeah, and then of course all the designs. I had filled up my virtual machine and my actual machine so I had to spend money to buy another hard drive but this one I think I got the four terabyte one so hopefully that one will last me a while because terabytes are supposed to be pretty big okay so I have no furniture oh I forgot to write in we are $190.44 over budget there. Okay, office supplies. We're going to count this paper under office supplies, so we'll put, we'll highlight that one. This one actually says office supplies, office supplies. Okay. So, 21, 19, 16, 95, 14, 83, 52, 97. So, we have 52, 97, which we didn't budget anything for that. So, 52, 97. I didn't spend anything on shipping supplies. I did place an order yesterday for sticker paper. So that's 1170. And that is actually $31.70 over. And then for the miscellaneous stuff, I did order two planners because right now I'm working out of the 2020-2021 um, planners, which I absolutely adore, but I have seen lots of people talking about they made big changes in the 2021-2022 planners, so I ordered one of each of those so that I can try to make sure that my stickers fit those also. So they should be coming. Um, but yeah, that that hurt the pocketbook. So of course, this account um, currently has no income coming to it. So that's one hundred and eleven fifty one. So it's also one hundred and eleven fifty one over budget. So we've got 36, 37. Maybe I should put this up here where y'all can see. Plus 190.44 plus 440. 52.97. Okay, that's four hundred ninety seven and thirty nine. So we've got negative twenty six thirty seven minus one ninety forty four plus the fifteen sixty. Minus fifty two ninety seven minus thirty one seventy minus one eleven fifty one. Okay, so we are negative three ninety seven thirty nine. 
Yep, that's right. Okay, so we didn't have any profit. We were actually in the hole. So 497, 39, plus the 1295 is 510.34. Okay, I didn't withhold anything because there's nothing to withhold from, which means for this month, unfortunately, We are negative 5, 10, 34. It's very sad. Very, very sad. So there's nothing to reinvest, no salary to pay out. Um, that's okay. This is how it looks when you start something. So, um, you know, there's the reality of it. So if we flip around... I did track a little bit of mileage um, because we drove to Owensboro because that is the nearest um, Joanne store. Well, I don't know that it's the nearest. It's just the one that we happened to be heading in that direction that day. Anyway, um, but I do get to track mileage for that because I did buy supplies for the business. Um, I don't get to add or subtract anything to what I'm holding for taxes, so all of this is going to be zero. And we will open this up and we're going to look at the side hustle investment. So for July, we have not enough lines to cover everything. So we already know that we were negative 5, 10, 34. So I'm just going to put, instead of listing everything, hopefully next month we can get a better look at how this thing normally flows because there's just not enough room for me to put this here. What I've been doing was making it a whole page. I'll do that next month. So we've got 5, 10, 34. I did receive a refund on something that I had purchased back in June. So we've got $21.90 that's going to come off of June. So we've got, let's see, $62.42. 239 55 26 12 95 6595. So all of those came down. We have 238.63 minus 2190. 216.73. And then we're going to carry forward the 510.34. So we have 1589.6242. 42, 39.55, 5, 10, 34. That came out with 2559.62. So let's see what all of this adds up to. We've got 
18 plus 510.34 minus 2190 equals 2559.62. So, total investment so far, $2,559.62. Y'all have a lot of work to do because that number makes me queasy. And that's a year's worth of investment for me. So, yeah. Okay, well, that's all I have for this video. Um, thank you so much for joining me and for rooting me on along the way. And I will see you all in the next one.